In today's video, I'm excited to share five top day hikes in Olympic National Park. If you're planning a trip to Olympic, these five hikes make a great core itinerary. They showcase the park's three ecosystems, dramatic coastline, lush rainforest, and mountains. Stay tuned because at the end, I'll also share a fabulous sixth hike that's nearby but outside the park boundaries. Plus two hikes that are very popular, but I'd recommend skipping if you're short on time. If you enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more adventures in the Pacific Northwest. So let's get started. Number five is Hurricane Hill. This short three and a half mile hike near Port Angeles is a great opportunity to see Olympic's mountain ecosystem. It's particularly striking at sunset and in summer you'll likely find wildflowers in the meadows. Click the link in the upper right for our full video on Hurricane Hill. I'll also include links to a video on each hike in the video description. For number four, we'll head to the rainforest for the 5.8 mile loop hike along Lover's Lane to Solduck Falls. This hike showcases Olympic's signature rainforest environment and a striking triple waterfall. For number three, we'll head to the coast for a walk among the stunning sea stacks at Rialto Beach. Time this one for low tide so you can do the 3.3 mile out and back walk to Hole in the Wall. We were a little late so we didn't quite reach Hole in the Wall, but we did catch this incredible sunset. For number two, we'll head back to the rainforest for one of Olympic's most iconic trails, the Ho River Trail. This trail showcases the temperate rainforest at its best, with moss and ferns worthy of Jurassic Park. Keep an eye out for herds of enormous Roosevelt elk. This is a top place to spot them. The Ho River Trail is a popular backpacking route to Mount Olympus, so you can make your day hike as long or short as you'd like. My number one favorite hike in Olympic National Park is back on the coast, the 8.8 mile Shai Shai Beach Trail to Point of Arches. After a trek through the forest, the trail opens onto Shai Shai Beach, where you'll follow the shoreline to the sea stack wonderland called Point of Arches. Point of Arches has more sea stacks than I've ever seen at once, a difficult feat on the rugged Pacific coast. At low tide, you can peek around the point to another wild and wonderful beach on the other side. Look out for sea life in the tide pools, and at sunset, this place is otherworldly. One of my favorite hikes of all time. A 
A sixth top hike that's definitely worth a visit but is technically outside the park is Cape Flattery. A short 1.2 mile hike on Macaw tribal land takes you to the dramatic wave toss northwest corner of the lower 48. While you can't go wrong with a hike on the scenic Olympic Peninsula, there are a couple popular hikes we thought were a bit overrated. Both begin from the Storm King Ranger Station near Port Angeles. The first is the intriguingly named Mount Storm King. The trail travels straight uphill, with views of the deep blue Lake Crescent below. The views are definitely nice, but they don't rival other top hikes in Olympic from my perspective. If you'd like a serious uphill workout though, this is a great option. The second is the short hike to Marymere Falls, which begins at the same trailhead. The forest and falls are very picturesque, but this trail is often crowded and if you have time for just one waterfall hike, I'd stick with the more striking Solduck Falls. Thanks for joining us in exploring these top day hikes in Olympic National Park. Let us know in the comments if you have other favorite trails, and remember to give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.